CIET-NCERT presents curriculum based series Dhwani Shala. So let's join in Dhwani Shala class 7. Namaste and hello to my dear friends. I am Dr. Nidhi Singh and today we are going to talk about class 7 geography textbook chapter 2 that is inside our earth. In the last chapter we got to know about the environment, lithosphere, hydrosphere and atmosphere that exist above the earth's surface. Today we will be talking about the environment inside the earth. The earth where we all live is a dynamic planet. It is constantly undergoing various changes from inside as well as from outside. Have you ever wondered what lies in the interior of the earth? What is the earth made up of? Just like an onion, the earth is made up of several concentric layers with one inside the another. As we have layers in an onion that can be peeled layer by layer, we have layers of earth also. The uppermost layer over the earth's surface is called the crust. It is the thinnest of all the layers. It is about 35 km on the continental masses and only 5 km on the ocean flows. The main mineral constituents of the continental mass are silica and alumina. It is thus called Sial, Si for silica and Al for alumina. The oceanic crust mainly consists of silica and magnesium. It is therefore called Sima, Si for silica and Ma for magnesium. Guess how deep we have been able to reach inside the earth's surface? The deepest mine in the world is in South Africa. It is about 4 km deep. In search for oil, engineers have dug a hole about 6 km deep. To reach the center of the earth which is not possible one will have to dig a hole 6000 kilometers deep on the ocean floor just beneath the crust is the mantle this is the second layer of the earth and extends up to a depth of 2,900 km below the crust. The innermost layer is the core with a radius of about 3,500 km. It is mainly made up of nickel and iron and is called knife. Ni for nickel and Fe for ferrous, that is iron. The central core has a very high temperature and pressure. It is very hot and here tremendous pressure is created due to the overlying weight of rocks and material. Therefore, the core 
is not a solid mass rather it is in liquid state if we look into the amount of area covered by these three layers of the earth we will find out that the crust forms only 1% of the volume of the earth 84% consists of the mantle and 15% makes the core remember the radius of the earth is 6371 kilometers let us focus our discussion on the crust for the time being the earth's crust is made up of various types of rocks any natural mass of mineral matter that makes up the earth's crust is called a rock rocks can be of different color size and texture rocks are made up of different minerals what are minerals minerals are naturally occurring substances which have certain physical characteristics and definite chemical composition minerals are very important to human kind some are used as fuels for example coal natural gas and petroleum they are also used in industries such as iron aluminium uranium etc they are used in making medicines and also in fertilizers did you know that the beautiful nose pin and earring of your mother is also made up of mineral that is silver and gold rocks can be of different types there are three major types of rocks that are igneous rocks sedimentary rocks and third one metamorphic rocks when the molten magma cools it becomes solid rocks thus formed are called igneous rocks it is derived from a latin word ignis meaning fire they are also called primary rocks there are two types of igneous rocks intrusive rocks and extrusive rocks can you imagine lava coming out of the volcanoes sometimes it comes out of great force and the molten material gets bombarded out of the vent of the volcano with a loud sound for example in case of mount vesuvius other times it oozes out of fissures or cracks and comes out silently as in the case of hawaiian islands try to locate these two places in your atlas you will definitely enjoy this activity you must have seen some photographs of volcanoes we are also talking about it so what exactly is a volcano a volcano is a vent or opening through which the hot molten material called magma comes out not only magma but various gases also come out of the vent this molten material is the molten rock that was melted by the tremendous heat and pressure inside the earth 
depending upon the composition of rocks the molten material is thick or little thinner that means either it flows very slowly or flows very fast when it comes out of the volcano the molten material when remains inside the vent is called magma but as soon as it comes out it takes the name of lava lava is actually fiery red molten magma coming out from the interior of the earth on its surface when this molten lava comes on the earth surface it rapidly cools down and becomes solid rocks formed in such a way on the earth crust are called extrusive igneous rocks they have a very fine grained structure for example basalt the deccan plateau is made up of basalt rocks sometimes the molten magma cools down deep inside the earth surface solid rocks so formed are called intrusive igneous rocks since they cool down slowly they form large grains granite is an example of such a rock grinding stones or silbatta used for preparing paste or powder of spices and grains are made of granite even the slabs of kitchen in our homes are made up of granite they are shiny rocks and are found in different colors the second type of rocks is sedimentary rock it is derived from the latin word sedimentum meaning settle down rocks roll down crack and hit each other and are broken down into small fragments these small fragments or particles are called sediments these sediments are transported and deposited by wind water etc these loose sediments are compressed and hardened to form layers of rocks these types of rocks are called sedimentary rocks for example sandstone is made from grains of sand these rocks may also contain fossils of plants animals and other microorganisms that once lived on them fossils are the remains of the dead plants and animals trapped in the layers of rocks and are called fossils the sonar fort of jaisalmer rajasthan is made up of yellow sandstone since it is yellow in color the fort is known as sonar fort or golden fort on the other hand qutub minar and red fort in delhi are made up of red sandstone have you ever visited jaisalmer or delhi next time when you visit these places remember that they are made up of sedimentary rocks igneous and sedimentary rocks can change into metamorphic rocks that are the third type of rocks the name metamorphic is derived from the greek word metamorphos meaning change of form this transformation takes place under 
great heat and pressure for example clay changes into slate and limestone into marble can you recognize a marble yes the famous taj mahal of agra in uttar pradesh is made up of marble rocks are very useful to us the hard rocks are used for making roads houses and buildings we use stones in many games as well for example seven stones or pitto hopscotch that is stapu or kitkit or ikkad dukkad five stones gitti or gutta find out more such games by asking your grandparents parents and neighbors etc it will be a great fun you will be surprised to know that one type of rock changes to another type under certain conditions this happens in a cyclic manner this process of transformation of the rock from one to another type is known as the rock cycle you have already learned that when the molten magma cools it solidifies to become igneous rock these igneous rocks are broken down into small particles that are transported and deposited to form sedimentary rocks when the igneous and sedimentary rocks are subjected to heat and pressure they change into metamorphic rocks the metamorphic rocks which are put under great heat and pressure inside the earth surface melt down to form molten magma this molten magma again can cool down and solidify into igneous rocks this is how rocks get changed in structure and composition and take the form of other types of rocks isn't it interesting we will do an activity based on today's session try collecting five things made up of minerals wait wait please do not take out the earring from your mother's ears <laughs> look for other things similarly you can collect photographs of five monuments that are made up of rocks that we have discussed it will be an interesting exercise i will sing a song for you today it's related to the rock cycle metamorphic rock and metamorphosis that is the process by which metamorphic rocks are formed let's go metamorphosis metamorphosis what is metamorphosis of rocks it means change transformation in the nature and composition of rocks metamorphosis metamorphosis what is metamorphosis of rocks there is change of color there is change in texture there is change of minerals there is change of hardness too metamorphosis metamorphosis what is metamorphosis of rocks how do rocks change how does that happen and why does that change takes place shale changes to slate limestone to marble lignite to anthracite and sandstone to quartzite 
and then you have different rocks metamorphosis metamorphosis what is metamorphosis of rocks metamorphosis metamorphosis this is metamorphosis of rocks now let us recapitulate what we learned today we learned how is inside of the earth what are the layers of the earth the characteristics of these layers what are rocks different types of rocks characteristics of the different types of rocks rock cycle or the way in which rocks get transformed into one type to another we also got to know about fossils now we will do some questions and answers first is what are the three layers of the earth can you recall yes crust mantle and core second is what is a rock think over it third is name three types of rocks can you name the three rocks igneous sedimentary and metamorphic rocks fourth is how are extrusive and intrusive rocks formed remember these are the types of igneous rocks fifth is what do you mean by a rock cycle sixth is what are the uses of rocks seventh is what are metamorphic rocks now we will take up another question tick the correct answer or choose the correct answer first is the rock which is made up of molten magma is first option is igneous b is sedimentary c metamorphic second question the innermost layer of the earth is a crust b core c mantle we are talking about the innermost layer third question gold petroleum and coal are examples of a rocks b minerals and c fossils fourth question rocks which contain fossils are a sedimentary rocks b metamorphic rocks and c igneous rocks remember fossils are the remains of plants animals and organisms that existed long back the fifth question is the thinnest layer of the earth is a crust b mantle c core try finding out the answers to all these questions I have another set of question for you. Fill in the blanks. First is core is the dash of the earth. Fill the gap. Second is minerals have dash composition. third is rocks are made up of dash 
the full form of cl is yes silica and aluminium next is the full form of sema is silica and magnesium and the last question is the full form of knife is nickel and ferrous dear friends i hope you must have understood today's session properly try doing the suggested activities in the next chapter we will discuss some other topic till then bye so friends you were just listening to the series dhwani shala production assistance minakshi kukreti and tanu gupta recorded by shanu muksim and vikas sangwan produced by vandana arimardan this program is brought to you by c i e t n c e r t new delhi india